Hi, good morning. So today I'll be discussing a Harrison-based MCQ. I'll read the question for you and then we'll discuss the answers. A patient comes into the clinic and describes progressive muscle weakness over several weeks. He has also experienced nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. One month ago, he had been completely healthy and describes a bear hunting trip in Alaska where they ate some of the games that they killed. Soon after he returned, his GIT symptoms began, followed by muscle weakness in his jaw and neck that has now spread to his arms and lower back. Examination findings confirm decreased muscle strength and upper extremities and neck. He has also slowed extraocular movements. Lab examination shows panic values for elevated lesionophils and serum creatine phosphokinase. Which of the following organisms is the most likely cause of the symptoms? A. Campylobacter species. B. Cytomegalovirus. C. Giardia. D. Tinea solium. And E. Trichinella spiralis. Okay. So, all of you would have come across this very important news that was shared in the social media and also in TVs that a huge amount of meat got delivered to the Egmo station in Chennai and many people thought it was actually dog meat. Then there was some kind of controversy saying that it was not a dog meat, it was long-tailed goat from Rajasthan. What are the situations? You have to understand meat is supposed to be thought of twice before you go for the kill if you want to eat it. This particular question speaks about people eating meat, that is those people who went for hunting, they ate the beer meat. Why exactly this question is important? Of course, the answer you would have known right now, it is Trichinella spiralis that comes across for meat injuries. Trichinella is actually obtained by eating improperly cooked food that is in the form of meat either from the pigs or from dogs or from horses or from bears. So remember these four animals. When you come across these four animals in the question paper, think about Trichinella. Why? If at all people eat meat and larvae are present in this muzzle mass of those animals that you're going to eat, the larvae will be traveling through the GIT. First week as it is going through the GIT, you'll have fever, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Fever is not so great, but once the organism jumps from the GIT and enters into circulation, then fever starts, then eosinophilia will increase. Once fever eosinophilia increase through the blood, the organism travels into the muscles. The moment it reaches the muscles, you will have myositis. And once myositis happens, the muscle weakness happens. Encystation of the larva will start inside the muscles. If at all you look for traditional larva which is encysted, if you look at it under microscopy or under CD section, you will find these organisms, encysted larvae, looking like smaller snakes in coils. It appears to be very scary when you look at them, but it is a very classical finding that you find in case of Trichinella spiralis. When you take a muzzle biopsy or a small piece of muzzle and look at a microscopy or look through CT scan, you will find the organism seen as coiled snakes which are silently quiet waiting for the kill. Okay, what about the remaining options given in the question paper? You had Giardia. Giardia is not known for myositis. Giardia is not known for causing fever. Giardia causes malabsorption. Through malabsorption, you will have deficiency manifestation of major nutrients and also it will cause steatoria because malabsorption of lipids can be floating. The lipids will be floating along with the fecal material. Campylobacter jejuni can show GIT symptoms like this, but it also, you have to understand, Campylobacter is capable of causing minimal amount of dysentery. Also, Campylobacter can cause fever because it is slightly invasive, it can enter into circulation, it can cause fever, but no myositis. And the remaining organisms can have no similar features that of myositis. So how do you actually prevent it? In India, mostly dog meat is not taken into consideration, beer meat is not taken into consideration, horse meat is not taken into consideration. But when it comes to pork, Remember, you have to cook the pork to such an extent at high temperature that the pink color of the meat is lost. Or you can go for complete freezing of the pork to less than minus 15 degrees Celsius. The problem with this is, in case of Trichinella nativa, an organism that is found in the polar bears, 
Remember, the polar bears are already living at very low climate temperatures, so minus 15 degrees Celsius would not actually be of much effect on the trichinella larvae present in the polar bear muscles, so you have to chill it down even lesser. So remember, the organism trichinella is capable of attacking your muscles. It can cause encystation in the muscles. You can look at them as encysted larvae, and they are capable of causing muscle weakness and myositis. Also, remember, trichinella is capable of causing infantile prolapse of the rectum. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good day.